just going to demonstrate our Anadrive Universal Battery Management Kit. Um, so it's based on the Anadrive DC to DC, which is a 40 to 50 amp programmable battery charger, which is quite handy, the fact that it's programmable. You can set it to just a 5 amp charger or all the way up to a 50 amp charger. That's handy if you're starting out with a small battery bank. That would be too much to pump into a small battery bank of just 100 amp hours or so. You'd probably want to limit it to 25 amps. Um, but if you're starting at that rate and you want, want to add more batteries to it later, this is a great unit because once you add the extra battery bank, you can, um, you can program this to utilize that as well and be a big 40 amp charger cranking into a larger battery bank. So I'm just going to show you what's involved in the kit. So obviously the main brains of the unit is the DC to DC, 40 amp charger. Um, the next thing down the line is your solar input. So we've just used an Anderson plug there because that's commonly found on most solar kits, blankets, um, solar panel fold out kits, or even fixed solar. If you're, say you're setting this up on a canopy, you could have a fixed panel on the roof and simply just plug the panel straight into this Anderson plug. So we've left a bit of length. You can either mount that beside the charger Lots of different options or you can route it up towards the roof and just have it sitting up there. So the next part of the loom, heading away, there's two sections. So we'll, we'll go through the short section first. So that's designed for the auxiliary battery to be in either the canopy or your tub, um, wherever you do. This could also work for like a camper van, a caravan, that type of thing. So, it, but it's always best to have the DC charger close to the battery that is charging. So that's why the short lead is for the auxiliary battery and it is labeled auxiliary battery. So we've got our positive and negative connections that we'd make on the auxiliary battery and also the temperature sensor for which gets connected to the earth terminal of the battery. And that's just so this unit can monitor the temperature of the battery and change its power output accordingly. And the unit does do, it'll do your AGMs, lead crystals, lithium batteries, or your standard lead acid batteries. So lots of options. Also even got a programmable option if you want to program it to certain, certain specs. Now we've also got the main lead, which is a big long seven meter lead that's designed to reach from the back of the vehicle or the back of the camper, all the way to the crank battery in the vehicle. And we've also given uh, a large waterproof gland nut. So if you were exiting the canopy, that's where this would be useful. So you could drill a big a hole in the side of the canopy, plumb it with this. Um, so it's got a rubber seal there to seal, that would be the point where it goes through the canopy. And then also to stop any water going down the cable, this threads up. It's quite tight to do by hand, but with some pliers it will actually tighten down onto the loom, so not allowing any moisture, water, dust to get through the hole that you've put through the canopy. So that's one feature. This is the seven meter cable that gets routed up to the main start battery. And up at that point, there's also a fuse holder included in this kit, same as this one. And we left the fuse holder off so that it's easy to route towards the engine bay. Once you're at the engine bay, it will be a matter of connecting this fuse holder, like this one um, already has, and connecting that to the main crank battery. And that's, that's all that's involved. Um, the other thing is, if it is going into a vehicle with a smart alternator, there is this small blue wire that we've labeled ignition input. So that wire on a smart alternator vehicle, that needs to be connected to the vehicle's ignition, which may require an auto electrician to do that. Or we also have a product called our smart ignition sense, which would simply plug into there and monitors when the vehicle's running and would tell this unit that the vehicle's running, it would charge and then stop when it sees no activity or no vibration from the vehicle. So you can check that out in our store as well as an add-on to this kit. There is an example of this kit being installed in someone's canopy on a steel plate. So that's, that's a common use for this kit. And it also comes with cable ties for cable tying up the loom, the whole length of the vehicle, and also the instruction manual for, for the unit. So yeah, that's just a quick, Rundown of how the Anadrive Universal Dual Battery System works.